So probably I cannot say it enough that you are the SI unit of any kind of productivity or purpose pursuit that you can engage yourself in. In other words, if your health and vitality is not in check or is not in place, then whatever it is that you want to pursue in terms of your purpose, in terms of your work, in terms of your productivity, is not going to happen. Therefore, your health, your vitality, your wellness is absolutely critical. And we are looking at several reasons as to why this is important for you. And I, of course, have been building this up all, all along from uh, some few episodes back. We've been talking about health and, when, and uh, health and wellness in the pursuit of your purpose, how important that is. And today I want us to look at one other important issue of health and uh, health and vitality as far as your purpose is concerned, as far as your pursuit is concerned, as far as your work is concerned. And of course, it's, it might sound obvious, but I'm not, I need to tackle this today. So stay tuned. <laughs> Welcome to the Life Signatures Podcast with Lawrence Namale. Lawrence is a life coach, author, and keynote speaker who loves to tackle different topics on purpose, productivity, and resilience. His mission in life is to awaken all your boundless possibilities available in you. Life Signatures Podcast is dedicated to bring to reality every single person who knows that deep down in their gut, there's got to be more to life than this. And now, here is your host, Lawrence Namale. They say that... uh, What do they say? They say something to do with the devil and the idle mind, that the idle mind is the workshop of the devil, something of that nature. And, you know, even though that one is very much popularized, we have to understand that the opposite is much more potent and actually much more true. Maybe let me wing this for a long time and tell you a story some years back, some decades back, I had a misfortune of not having a path that will lead my career forward. And therefore, I retreated back to the village from the city of Nairobi without knowing where my life will end up. In fact, going back to the village was plan A, it was plan B, it was plan C, up to Z. And you can realize how maybe discouraged I was in life, how, you know, I looked at life and I thought that it's dealing with me a major, major, mighty blow. One side note here I can tell you is this. The moment you think that life is dealing you a hefty blow and you think that that's it, you are always wrong. You know why? Because you are only seeing the snapshot of your life at that moment in time. You cannot tell the weather how it's going to be like tomorrow. You can predict, but you cannot be certain. You cannot tell you, I mean, you cannot tell yourself how tomorrow is going to turn out, who is going to come into your life and change it and so on. You're not going to tell yourself it's, it's, it's the worst because you don't know what you have inside within you that can actually catapult you out of that murky situation. End of side note. So I found myself in the village, and the prospect of being in the village really worked hard on me and thawed away on my confidence and my identity. And I thought that maybe I might never get out of that place. And you know what I did? I decided I'm I'm not going to participate in the life in the village. I'm not going to participate in it. Because when I participate in the life in the village, I am cementing my fate. And I don't want to cement my fate. I want to stay in my city clothes. I want to stay in my city shoes. I want to stay in my, you know, I don't want to sweat. I don't want to get out there and work because I don't want to be identified with the village. And the more I did that, the more I was this guy who was the SI unit of discouragement, like Brother Job in the Bible. I mean, I walked around like the world has ended. I walked around like, you know, my life has come to a, a standstill and there's no hope. 
walked around hopeless and so on until the moment I decided hey guess what life has gotta go on if it's going to be in the village then it's gonna be in the village and so I got off my city gub and decided to immerse myself in the life of the village one thing happened I realized that the more I am working the more I am expending energy working the more I am alive I don't know the more I am excited about life the more hope comes up and so on anyway I was telling you that story I told you I was going to wing a long story I was telling you that story to derive a point and I'm going to delay the point before I do the point I'm going to give you a recap we're talking about the importance of health and vitality and wellness your health your vitality your wellness in your pursuit of purpose in your pursuit of productivity and we say that the person who is going to be intentional about his health and his vitality and his fitness and his wellness that is the person that is going to have control over those issues or those matters but the person who doesn't guess what always is going to be awakened maybe late on in life when things have just happened chronically and is health is not good her health is not good her wellness is not good that's when they are going to start looking for doctors and looking for checkups and trying to change their diet and try to do exercises try to run and so on and so forth because they have been caught off guard they have been blindsided so to speak by health issues and wellness issues and vitality issues so we said you've got to be intentional about it and when you are intentional about your health maybe in your mind and your in your emotions and in your physical body when you're intentional about it there's so much you can be able to reap out of it you know what we said you can reap yesterday we said you can be able to reap exercise and that exercise is going to reap you sharp minds a sharp mind your mind is going to be as sharp as you are connected to activities it goes without saying let me tell you that's why they prescribe activity movement they call it movement for the most part but they prescribe activity and movement for kids when they're growing up and even for us adults coaches will tell you that it's not good for you to sit on your desk from 8 a.m. to 5 and then when you go to get out of your desk you go and sit in your car and you stay in the jam gridlock jam for another 2 hours and when you get home you sit in a chair you always in a sitting position they are asking us to be moving and to be exercising why because it has a correlation to our minds i quoted a book yesterday i told you that if you read a book called uh, brain rules or even when you read a book by sanjay gupta called keep sharp it tells the same thing i'm i'm sharing with you that the more you exercise the more you deal intentionally with your health and with your wellness the sharper your mind becomes that's one advantage but today i want us to talk about another advantage which is also connected to the mind whenever you focus on your health your wealth and your health wellness and your health and your vitality whenever you focus on those things you know, you know what happens what happens is that not only does your mind get sharp but your mind becomes a positive ground for pollination of ideas big time that's what i realized when i was in the village when i decided i'm going to get myself involved in the activities of the village i took a hoe you know what a hoe is that is h o e all right and i went into the nepia grass plantation and i started cultivating and weeding and something happened to me the more i was acting the more i was weeding the more i was involved in activity the more ideas on how better i can do that activity and even sometimes ideas about what i can pursue on in my life started coming into my mind but those ideas were not coming as long as i had a sad face you know a long face as long as a misery mule you know walking around with sadness because i'm not doing anything because i'm thinking my life has come to an end but when i got myself into activities that's when ideas started cross pollinating my mind let me tell you something if you want to be creative if you want ideas to come into your mind you know what the shortcut is it's activity get out of 
your comfort zone today go and do some physical exercise some kind of wellness some kind of even fasting by the way just anything that you're doing intentionally that is going to connect you to your wellness and your vitality whether it's fasting whether it's taking a lot of water whether it's running whether it's putting yourself in some kind of diet whatever it is you're going to do intentionally that is actually probably uncomfortable or maybe outside of your comfort zone outside of your status quo outside of the things that you're normally doing guess what the mind gets polluted or not polluted the mind gets pollinated you get it gets pollinated with ideas and if you are someone who is a person of purpose guess what the ideas of purpose whatever it is they start being expanded into your mind this week i was out there running jogging actually improving my circuit in in jogging and so on and an idea came and you're going to see this idea in the next few weeks or so the idea of a power talk that i'm going to do and i'm going to record i'm going to shoot some kind of documentary of sorts i am 130 (laughs) percent sure that if i did not go out to jog the idea will not have come i'm not saying that it's only when you are acting and exercising and so on that ideas come i'm saying that it increases the level of your activity of ideas and your thinking and your creativity is increased with your health and vitality you don't get your health and vitality increased when you're doing nothing when you're sitting doing nothing when your health is when your health is not okay ideas don't come so don't get me wrong i'm not saying that ideas only come when you're acting when you're moving when you're running when you're doing press ups when you're doing health and vitality i'm saying when you're doing health and vitality the propensity is increased for ideas to cross pollinate your mind and you know it becomes you you become minefield of ideas the mind becomes a minefield of ideas because you're active You're taking your health seriously. You're healthy, by the way. It's basically like you're unclogging some pipes, so to speak, in the brain and in the mind and in the body. And and now you're some kind of free, you know, carefree, so to speak. And so open to ideas, so open to principles, so open to new things. And it's like ideas, no, hey, let's follow that man. That's a magnet of ideas. (laughs) <laughs> because you are taking your exercises you're taking your health and you're taking your vitality seriously nearly a quarter of the ideas in this blog in this um podcast in my website in my online courses i have two online courses and i'm building three more all those ideas a big chunk of those ideas came from me doing exercises came from me being intentional about my health and my wellness including this thing that i'm telling you today it did not just come out of the blue people ask me how do you how in the world do you end up with 2000 plus articles how do you end up with 700 plus episodes on your podcast how do you end up with videos that you just shoot left right and center how do you end up with content one of the ways that i get my content is to be active especially in dealing with my physical fitness and in the process my mind is pollinated with ideas my mind is made active with my physical exercises your pursuit of purpose will need a heavy dose of ideas in order to reach the levels that you are looking for this world is changed by the power of ideas and if you wanted to have ideas converge into your mind and into your mind and into your heart and into your brain and into your head and into your life be intentional about your health be intentional about your wellness listen you can put me wrong tomorrow honestly you can put me wrong if you if you're listening to me and you've never jogged or something of that nature just give it this week maybe you've never done any physical exercise give it just this week just this week alone three times 30 minutes three days whatever it is maybe you stagger them you do every other day and come back and tell me i'm a liar ideas don't increase when you're doing physical exercise ideas don't increase when you're doing your health and your wellness prove me wrong 
the battle i mean the the burden of proof is not on my end it's on yours because me i have done it and it works for me and it's not just for me even scientists you know when we talk about scientists people listen to us but it's true sanjay gupta is a scientist actually a brain scientist and he can tell you as much tomorrow we're going to look at another area which is important as to why our health and wellness is important in our pursuit of purpose but until then bye bye Thank you for listening to Life Signatures Radio. If you enjoyed today's show, subscribe to Life Signatures Radio on iTunes, Stitcher, or visit our website at lifesignatures.libsyn.com. Life Signatures Radio, fresh, clean, and inspiring.